Hello, today we're going to make semolina pudding. We will need one liter of whole milk, one tablespoon of butter, some grated orange skin and lemon skin, but I don't have lemon, so I just use orange, and a pinch of salt, and 125 grams of semolina. So, mix together milk, butter, salt, and orange zest, and heat it up. And when it's warm, then we're gonna add semolina. Still melting the butter. This is very easy and simple, yummy dessert. We're gonna add some cinnamon too, because cinnamon always tastes good in all desserts. Just a sprinkle, sprinkle. So, here's the semolina. And to make it sweeter, you just add raisins and sugar. Now we add semolina and put it a bit, a bit. And mix it evenly. And then after a while, it's gonna have a nice and thick texture. After five minutes, we're gonna add half a cup of sugar to make it really sweet. Remember, you need to really constantly keep mixing and mixing so it doesn't get burned on the bottom and doesn't make any lumps. It's nice and smooth. Keep it on a low heat. It will take about 20 minutes for it to be ready. So it's been 10 minutes and you can see that it's really thick now. This is almost ready. You can just try. I think 5, 6, 7 minutes more and it's ready to cool down and then we're gonna make some yummy chocolate dressing. It's been 15 minutes and it's ready. Now we're gonna put it down to cool. Time to make the chocolate sauce. Okay, so you will need one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of cacao, and two tablespoons of sugar. Milk, which you should boil first, and a chunk of coconut fat. It's best to use coconut fat, but you can use coconut butter or normal butter if you want it just this hardens better. Okay, so we're going to add in our sugar, flour, and cacao mixture into the boiling milk and mix until the sugar melts. We added in the coconut fat and a tiny dash of milk and it's very creamy. I can't wait to try this dessert. To Me milk. too. <laughs> And this is your finished semolina pudding. Looks tasty.